Okay, I'm reloaded. We got London on the Tell track. me, do you know the feeling? Oh, oh, oh. Tell me, do you know the feeling? Oh, oh, oh. You look up and you ain't got no feeling. Oh, me in a Lambo? You look down, nah. You look down, you look down, Now this weather is so unpredictable. One minute it's sunny on this side and this side is snowing. So I'm sitting here waiting for the uh, dumpster to get here so we can start dumping all these this trash and the pool guys can't come to empty out the pool so we can paint it because of the social distancing. Right now I'm on my way to go pick up my son. I haven't literally seen my son in almost two weeks. Pretty much haven't seen any of my kids since this whole situation. This is a hard time for a lot of families that are going through things. Um, people are out of work, people are frustrated. People are, are a lot not nicer than what they used to be. I'll tell you that. Look how excited Omir gets every time he comes. Hi Omir. Hi. Did you have fun? Yeah. You see, but I'm... So the first thing you do is come in the car eating chips. Huh? Philadelphia. There's so many people still outside out here. It's crazy. It's like the whole entire Philadelphia is like still outside. It's like regular, like regular freaking day. The cops aren't sending people home or nothing. People are just still doing what they want to do. Cause a couple of years ago I wasn't eating Now I watch out for them niggas that scheming I got me an M when I kept on repeating The love with the sound of that money machine I'm looking down at my diamonds be gleaming I got me a coffee Oh, I'm in Hellcat Oh, yeah, okay And then they right say here. I fell off Right here It's alright I want to turn red I'm comfortable the right car. now That G-Wagon is something special That, that pink and then it's like You like the, oh, G, you like the, G, you like the truck, the G-Wagon? Mm -hmm. Oh, Chef, you got, oh, no, sir. you got Tati the, Tati the Chef. You know, I'm Tati like you, you know? What the hell y'all watching? Huh. Oh, my God. Yo, PlayStation is going to be banned in this house. Team Xbox. Looks like somebody gave me a gift. I got a polo. This was outside? Yeah. Open it. I'm not opening it. Come on, it. You're going to kill Machi? We need him. What the hell you got on looking like a white Power Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, no. Is this one that box Oh my was? god, this, yeah, was, we was like, this is a was... big disappointment. I thought it was something special in here. Like... So got all these monitors here for the podcast is gonna go here. I'm gonna go a little crazy on this room, LED. I'm gonna make this thing look incredible. No joking. I swear to God, I've never heard of this brain, but <laughs> I look he's only for a podcast. So I'm trying to start a podcast, but it's like Amazon isn't delivering. Everything's taking forever to get here. You know, I, I can't uh, clean the pool out because the pool guys ain't working. My son, I don't understand how, but let me turn around. Let me see your shirt. I don't understand how he gets spaghettis on his shirt. <laughs> I gotta spend time with all my kids, but I'm making sure that they're okay and fine before I go pick them up. Make sure that I'm okay and fine before I go get them. Holy crap, it feels so good outside. I'm trying to get my pool cleaned out so I can um, take all the water out. I can put reloaded under the pool and then fill it back up. I wanna do a, a big barbecue with all my family and friends, but, I'm not trying to get sick. What you making? Make make customers. For the customers? Uh-huh. I don't know what customers you're talking about. Yo, he took the damn thing off the... 
shit left in his limit. Oh. Damn, this shit got a lot of seeds in it. Oh my god. I didn't. You didn't. Oh. This is gonna be nasty now. But we have to strain all the damn seeds out. Ugh. You ready to taste it? Homemade lemonade. Kids never lie. Mm, it's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Hey, got a pope in there. <laughs> so, Amir says he wants to put a stand. You want to put a stand outside? Mm -hmm. You're going to sell everybody for they can drink it? Uh -huh. How much are you going to sell it for? So, you didn't even think about that. As an entrepreneur, Mir, you got to see how much you're spending on it. Which this bag of lemons is probably four dollars. You think sugar? And sh you got to count the sugar. So how much you gonna sell it for? One dollar or two dollars or fifty cent? Fifty dollars. Fifty uh dollars? -huh. The hell you? <laughs> Podcast room. This looks good. So my boys came over with some remote control cars. Why are you so camera shy? So this thing, you can't notice on camera, but this thing is huge. He's like 400 pounds. And look how small that car. No, don't run that shit into my ankle. You'll break it. Damn. Yo, yo the last time I seen an electric like this, bro, was like... Is this all muddy back here? No, nah, you're good. Remember the last time I saw electric like that was like back in the days when HPI was out? Yeah, and they, they used to suck. The electric ones used to suck back in the days. Damn. Why it keeps flipping? Yo, that bitch is fast as hell. Man, let, let a real pro work. Oh, yeah, that thing is powerful. Why so strong? Nice. Yo, this is way too strong. <laughs> you can put less torque in it? Yeah, you can turn it down. Why they don't make you think four-wheel drive? It is. No, it's not. The back tire got way more torque than the front tire. Oh, see? The body, the, the piece probably, the washer probably ripped it off. Oh! oh how do you hit something He's that's in been, way. That's been parked? Do you see what's in my way? How do you hit something that was parked there the you whole entire time? Way? I don't think we got social distancing. We got all this space. What are you getting off my shit for? You got a little bit of hair in your back. I was trying to wipe it off. Like Shit, we broke this one. He left parts for that one. Good job. Right. Yo, she just burnt right before I put this on. So this is gonna be sort of like the podcast setup. That's gonna be your table there, right? This table here. Oh, well, I gotta get the little table. Why you gotta get this big ass table? Because I'm I'm the master of disaster. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Start off the podcast. Ready? What am I talking about? I don't know. Just say something. Today we're gonna be talking about how all men are pieces of shit. Stay tuned. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. It looks pretty cool, right? Because the on the side of the, on the side of the truck is yellow, and the top car is yellow. Look at this beauty. I know it, it doesn't feel good during these times to get this car, but this is a but this is like a self accomplishment, you know. I started my vlog with this car, and I worked my way back up to it. I'm happy again. This is my favorite car I had. I know you're gonna go with that. Shit, no need for a G-Wagon now. Oh, man. All I need is one more car, that's it. The mansion to this. The, 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 Huracan, the Huracan Evo. I only want four cars. I want two Hellcats, two Lambos. I don't need 30 more cars, and I'm done. Yeah, this is a beauty. Won't lie, I'm like kind of filled with emotions right now. You know, um, during these tough times, you know, to take a car like this, you kind of feel sort of guilty. 
But um, this is a huge self-accomplishment from all the work that I've been putting in. When this all happened to me a few months ago, um, I had freaking $12 left. You know, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It feels good. It feels good. But man, this thing is a beauty. What a beauty. Of course, you know, this is, I love this car to death. You know, and, and it's been hard for me, man, because like I've been having so many cars that it's kind of hard for me to drive the Hellcat. So I got, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to get rid of all my cars because like all I really need is a Hellcat. I'll get a, you know, this and, a, and, a, and another Lambo. But I just want my Hellcats. I don't want to keep driving 30 different cars, having $17,000 in fucking insurance a month. Fuck that. All my cars are in here. I'm getting rid of the G-Wagon. I'm getting rid of the Camaro. Even though I just got it. But I don't I don't need all these cars, man. I'm going to keep that because, you know, Mimi, Mimi have bought me that car. Guys. I've been going through a lot for the past few months. This is the reason why, you know, I stood away from YouTube. Then, you know, you know, they got people making fucking videos, which I don't even care. You know, that I'm like bipolar or I say one thing and do another. Uh, these are difficult times. I kind of have to. If I say I'm going to do something half of the times, I'm not going to do it. If I say I'm not going to do it half of the times, I am going to do it. It's just confusing time, you know. I have all eyes on me. I have to relax for a little bit. And, um... You know, these are bad times for me. You know, lost my brother right before I, I started. You, YouTube is the only thing that saved my life, honestly. And I can honestly say that, you know, lost my brother right before YouTube. So that that's what, that, you know, kind of propelled me into YouTube. Then, um, just a bunch of shit, you know, just a bunch of shit. And then, you know, losing my dad after the Fed situation. He didn't even get to see the outcome of this case and... Um, you know, lost my friend a few days ago. You know, this is like, it's the fucking bad times. Like, everything's been smacking me. But, you know what, everything going on in the world, I can't even fucking complain. I can't complain. I can't complain at all. I can't complain at all. People have it a million times worse than me. But damn, I fell flat on my face a few times. But this, it's, it's, it's life. Everything I preached, I had to kind of fucking live. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go. Cause a couple of years ago I wasn't eating. Now I watch out for them niggas that scheming. I got me an M and I kept on repeating the love with the sound of that money machine. I'm looking down at my diamonds be gleaming. I got me a coffee each day of the week. Bad bitches call telling me not to leave them. I swear I wake up and it feels like a dream. Cause a couple of years ago I wasn't eating. Now I watch out for them niggas that scheming. I got me an M and I kept on repeating the love with the sound of that money machine. I'm looking down Yo, at my look at look at G back there, y'all. He hasn't got a haircut since the whole corona started. He looks like fucking oh, no. terrible. <laughs> Installing new cabinets. These things are old as hell. Yo, this freaking. So this kitchen was done by the boys from uh from boys to men. Did these kitchen. Now these dudes ain't had no taste, bro. You know they had no taste in nothing because their their girls were always leaving them in the songs, and the kitchen is trash. But yo, this color used to be hot back in the days. Yeah, that's, what's, that's the beige. The beige. The that shit's ugly as hell. I think gray's here to stay for a long time. Look at these floors. No, no, no. Look at those shorts. So, Ooh, above the knees. Yo, my pool look like a swamp. Look at this. Don't don't judge me. We're gonna we're actually gonna redo the whole pool. I'm gonna redo this whole this whole house. Little by little, you know. Raise my kids in here. Take my time, you know. Live the slow life, guys. Live the slow life. Oh, look at this, guys. Mimi's has been working. Oh my God! Look at her go. Welcome to for loaded merchandise. Ew. I'll block. I'll block you. No, you won't. You know what? We'll put a big chicken over your head. No, I mean, you won't. No, I promise you. No. Look, guys. This is the chicken head. head. What's going on right here is that um, Mimi came up with this crazy ice idea. To come up with these boxes that are randomized. How, how do you say it? I'll, I'll, I'll keep the camera pointing towards me. Boxes. A mystery box. So the mystery boxes are fifty and hundred dollars, and they're like almost double for what they what they retail for. So right now we have a hundred dollar mystery box, 
Overloaded Merch. Merchandise.com. Overloadedmerch.com, sorry. And it's pretty cool because everything in there is random, and it's always a set of something. It can be a sweater with a hat or two hats. It can be a shirt in there. It, it, it just varies, but it's pretty dope. 100 bucks, and it'll get you over. You know, you might get the set that I got on right here. If you get the if you get the hundred dollar box, so you get these. Hundred dollar uh, box can be anything. The hundred dollar box, you have a chance of getting an exclusive set, exclusive mask, things like that. Okay. Here, reloaded. Uh -huh. We take, we take time, and effort, into making every shirt handcrafted. <laughs> You're the most annoying person. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Somebody's gonna get their shirt fucked up. <laughs> Stop joking. Yeah, Dude. <laughs> I'm looking at the letters. Nobody cares about you. I know, but you're like on me. That little furry thing. Anyway, guys, I needed a break. I needed a massive break. My head hurts. My body hurts. My mind hurts. I've always been against dwelling. I hate people that dwell. Like, And, and lately I've been catching myself dwelling. Like, I'll, I'll wake up at 5 in the morning and won't get out of bed till 11. That's six hours of dwell. Like, what am I going to do? Like, just get the fuck up and do something. You know what I'm saying? I've never been this way. I've never had my back hurting. I've never been, like, just physically, like, out of it. And, man, these extra 40 pounds that I put on since last November have been really weighing the toll on me. Honestly, man, this is... I feel like complete shit, man. How do you feel, baby? Even though we're not looking at you right now. How do I feel, like, in general? Yeah. I think it's just the quarantine that's making everybody, like, depressed, to be honest. I just want to know your life. I don't life. even go out. To I want to go to Applebee's and sit down and watch people clap for their birthdays. For real. I just want to lie. Because it's such a stupid-ass thing to be concerned about when there's so much shit going on in the world. But, I mean, we are who we are. Dude, there's no sports. That's why you're depressed, <laughs> in all honesty. Bro, like, there's no sports. Listen, at the end of the day, we're still living, you know? We all woke up winners today. We're living, we're breathing. Life can be a hundred times worse than what it is now. Uh-oh. That's that money check right here. And what you guys need to realize is that all these clothes are coming from me and Mimi's hands. No joking. All right? We have one other employee, but she's not around right now. Yeah, so all these clothes are literally coming from us. No cap. So we got a bobbin break. All right, we ran out of bobbin. Yo, and I became a master at, at embroidery. <laughs> got to back up. So, guys, no joking. People want to know what to invest in. The clothing market is so hot right now, it's ridiculous. People love selling drugs, but the time that comes behind it is just not worth it, man. It really isn't. And the profitability on clothes is so much amazing. You can buy a shirt for $4 and sell it for 25 after you put all your labor into it. That's a high profit margin. No joking, guys, this is something that you guys wanna get into. It's the clothing business. No joy. It takes work. It takes hard work to get into it. It's not as easy as you think. You know, it takes money. But if you do it the right way, you're going to make good money. Trust me. They got this guy to end like he's going to do something. Oh, shit, like Jay finally smiling. He got a haircut. Look at this guy. Uh oh, he's going to break. G's going to break. Now, how much do you think that weighs? Like you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You think like 200, 300? Oh, yeah, I think you got a cramp. There's a strong, world's strongest 13 year old. New cabinets on the way. You want to help me then? Come on, Jay. Oh, look at that. Some mystery boxes are done. These are getting shipped out tomorrow, guys. Mimi's fast with her shipping time, no joking. Look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Look at my man! Look at my man! Look at my man here! 
Here, here, you can put it back on. I'm joking. Here, here. Here, here, here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he hasn't had a haircut since quarantine, right? Yeah. Holy crap. The 13 year old always get haircuts. All right, guys. So I haven't really been in the vlogging mood. Sitting here, you know, just putting up new cabinets. Freaking my boy yesterday hit my damn Hellcat. Oh my God. So all of you that are asking, no, you do not need permits when you're just putting up cabinets. Now, if you're ripping out existing walls and electrical and all that shit, then yes, you need permits. But you don't need permits when you're dealing with just funky old cabinets. Yesterday, my boy was backing up on his truck. He took the damn quarter panel off of my uh, Hellcat. Now, thank God it wasn't nothing major. It was just the, um, the flare. So he took off one of the flares off my car. Oh man, I'm so depressed right now. So I need this damn heater so that I can start working on these DTG shirts. It's almost impossible to do it where he presses and it leaves like these ugly little wrinkles. I'm emptying out the pool because this thing is disgusting. So I'm gonna empty it halfway and they're gonna come replaster, redo it. Working on the kitchen floor. Holy crap. Hey yo. Mimi bought these vans so we can do deliveries. We're gonna do like Kanye then step through and reload the boxes out the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Listen guys, pay attention to this. Look at G Visual's car. G. I mean J Visual car. Why? What is going on, bro? He put a bumper on and then he drove up here and then the bumper somehow he doesn't even remember the bumper getting off the car. Oh, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Buy the bumper. My, my son's going to be, both my kids are going to be coming, you know, during the school year to live with me. And, you know, I just got to drop them off to school. I, you know, I, I can't, I can't wait to be like a, a, a full-time dad with them. And hopefully, you know, my other kids are watching. It's only in B.O. And they get, you know, they speak up a little bit and, you know, tell their mom that they want to come stay with me on weekends and stuff try to come to some common ground because I'm, I'm I'm tired of all this fighting and bickering I just want to see my other kids so hopefully we can get on common ground I've been bickering back and forth with his mom since like 2009 it's time trying to get over the past and you know my kids are already old with my you know my son's gonna be 14 he needs to start coming home Mimi is very annoyed today we have a very busy day no, no, no. I, I feel as though the hatch is just staying here. That's the only thing. Omi, I've done retail for like so long. I know. You listen. And watch in, in two months, you're going to be like, damn, Mimi, the hatch should be over there. No. So we're going to have to move them. Not yet. Mimi. <laughs> what do you want from me? Everything. What do you want from me? What more do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I know how he felt at that moment, yo. Let me tell you something. Losing your kids is one of the hardest things, man. And when you feel helpless, man, you just have an emotion. Listen, I have breakdowns all the time. I've been acting so light-skinned. It is ridiculous. But nah, man, we got to clean up this, this warehouse. We got a lot of orders coming in. Um, we're about to go into retail to Edge Boutique down in Aramingo and Cotman. You know, Edge Boutique. Everything, we're getting our own manufacturing done now, which is going to be crazy. Like, all the... You know, in a few months, the, the little logos are going to say reloaded when you, it's going to be incredible. You know, building this company right before your eyes, guys. I, took, I know I took a two-month break, but I've been so busy with this. It's like this, there was nothing really interesting to show you because my life is just revolving about opening a, a, a successful printing company and, it's, ah, excuse me, not only printing company, but blanks. I want people to buy my blanks so they can do their own companies. You know, it'll say reloaded on the inside, but you can, you know, still sell your things at, at a disclosed price. I'm not going to be open up to everybody. Only people in my vast network are going to be able to get my materials. Yo, these boxes right here are pretty cool. These are um, the $100 boxes. But, um, yo, he's being very perverted with the... That's the closest you've been to a girl in a long time. Oh, look at Young Mox is back. <laughs> This, this dude right here is tall for nothing. Tall for nothing. Because right. he can't play no ball. What you doing? You're working out and you're not going to it. Yeah, 
Tubin, you're too old to go Tubin. How old are you? Hi. I you can't go Tubin, you're too old to go Tubin. Yo, yo, Brittany, tell him to shut up. Yo, Brittany, tell him to shut up. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, Mach, you never got the actual on camera. Alright, so how, how do you, how do you feel, how do you feel that they took your car? Man, I'm, I'm sad, I'm disappointed. But we, we should be getting back hopefully soon. Kind of yeah, that'd be nice. Damn! Yeah, they're packing <laughs> niggas, bro. No you say what? Yeah, they, they took they took his they money. Took, they, they took yeah. They, they How took, come they ain't take your chain? I don't know. That's a good question though. <laughs> that's what I said. I was about Cause they took your son's too. chain off of him. All that. Yeah. They didn't they take mine. That's weird. I just did the world's dumbest thing. Doing these for freaking orders on these embroidery machines. So I'm over here maintenance in the machines and shit. And all of a sudden, I put my finger. I don't know why the fuck I did it. Like an idiot. I stuck my finger in the damn machine, yo. Trying to fix a thread in the machine. Fucking right now in the middle of my finger. In the middle of my finger the needle went through and it broke inside of my hand like literally i could feel like it went through my bone so it went through the finger it went through my finger and my bone i'm in fucking fucking the worst pain ever so i'm headed to the hospital now probably to get surgery i mean i could turn i could twist my finger so i'm hoping that it missed my bone but i could feel that the, the needle wants to rip off the other side of my hand so the needle is stuck inside my hand right now so they're keeping on me I know I look crazy right now. I'm so tired. Dude, this is crazy. This man <laughs> screamed when he cut his finger, but apparently it went through a tendon or something. I don't know. So he has to get surgery. I'm not allowed in the hospital because of this COVID situation, which stinks because I feel bad. Like, I would hate to be alone in a hospital. All right, guys. So, yes, I'm finally back. With a whole new finger. Freaking bugs around here, man. Oh, look at these bugs. I'm sorry, Peter. We gotta zap these motherfuckers. There you go, zap them all. Did you say Peter? Yeah, Peter. Peter. <laughs> They're like the bugs! Peter. I don't care. They, 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 don't, talk, don't find a way to talk shit about moths and butterflies, too. Zap them all. You got a new finger. Get my ass right back to work. <laughs> Listen, don't play no games around here. That's what you call dedication. This needle broke inside of my hand. Broke inside of my hand. <laughs> so that right there was in my hand. It looks small, but that thing is huge. That's just the other piece. Working on the house. Putting on new floors and stuff. But we have another surprise today. I know this video is all over the place. Pretty much, you know, retired for a few months. I needed the time off. But we have a little special surprise today. Um, I wanted to not have too many cars anymore. I got rid of everything. But we wanted to join the supercar community again. So what better way, right, to join the supercar community by having two Hellcats, which are not supercars, but having a Lamborghini Urus, and then Switching it up just a little, right? Just a little. We got London on the Damn train. Man. Do you know the Get a Lamborghini Huracan Evo. You know Let's go. Holy oh, shit, man. You look up the Lamborghini Evo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you guys didn't know that. Know me. Knows that the. Um, Huracan Evo, or the Huracan in general, is my favorite car. Um, it runs the best. It is the best. Um, reminds me of an R8. So if you have an R8, it's an incredible, incredible vehicle just like this one. Um, I just wanted to, you know, have a minimal of cars. You know, um, don't want to have 30, 40 cars in my driveway anymore. I think two Hellcats and two Lambos. It's just fine for me for now. You know, I get to enjoy like making real content with real people and what real people go through. Now, I won't lie, gaining 30 pounds during quarantine makes it kind of hard to get out of this car. But what a badass fucking, uh, got the Hellcat, the two Lambos. 
And the other Hellcat back there. That's the reason why I like this car, because they open up regular. That way, it's fat friendly. Open it all the way. It don't, they don't come up like like, like the like the Aventador. I think this thing's such a beauty. I got to get rid of those orange calipers, man. I don't like that at all. So my friend hit the car the other day. Like he, he backed up straight into it and messed up the whole flare. So shout out to my boy. He got the uh, the whole flare painted up real quick. Looks fantastic. All right, guys, got to get back to work. Oh, look, she's working. Holy crap. Boxes going out. I don't know if you guys remember a few months ago, um, we grabbed four of these. One, two, three, four. And I started embroidering. And let's just say I'm not the brightest light bulb in the LED strip. But I got it down packed enough. So these four were EMT pluses. And now they're EMT X's because of the, the new bottom of the arm. So I went ahead and, and ordered another four. See, so yeah, I was on my way. With these four, I was going to switch over to Baradin. Barrett and the Tajima, but I was more to Barrett. And um, no joking, man, this probably was the most frustrating time to, to learn how to embroider around a time like this. And, and I've been going under a lot of uh, Knuckles' um, comment section. There was a lot of frustrated people. And I'm here to tell you right now, man, this is probably the way to go. This new arm is fucking revolutionary. The machine virtually has no noise. I haven't seen the thread break in two days. Um, I'm going to see how these run for the next month, and then I'm going to order an additional four, and then probably switch to an additional four more. So I'm going to be running um, about 16 machines. And I want to thank everybody for all the orders, man. It's been crazy. I had 500 orders in the last two weeks that we ran through. Um, I stopped promoting now, but I know with this video coming out, um, I'll probably get a thousand to fifteen hundred orders. So I gotta prepare for this shit. So Hugo's over here freaking you know just testing out these hats. Right? He just you know he was just testing out the threads. So if you order a hat or a mist matter of fact, if you order a mystery box from reloadedmerch.com, if five hundred people buy, right? Out of, out of the next 500 orders, this hat will be inside of it. And if you get this hat, you win $5,000. So, out of, the, out, of the, out of the next 500 mystery boxes, so a mystery box is basically you, you pay for a box. It's a sweatsuit, a jogging suit in there. There's two t-shirts and a hat. It's a, it's a jogging suit and three items, which comes up to like over 150 bucks. So you don't pick out the color, you just pick out the size of the box on reloadermerch.com and you pretty much um, just get something random in the mail. It's like a random box. So we sold 500 of them in the last two weeks. But in the next 500 boxes, if you, and I'm going to show you guys the orders that come in, by the way. So if you get, if you receive this really ugly hat, <laughs> yeah, you will win. It's your variegated thread. <laughs> And I'm going to sign the inside so somebody can't remake the damn hat. Um, there's going to be a, a serial number, uh, a six code number inside the hat to make sure it's authenticated. And you just make an Instagram video and tag me in it and you automatically win $5,000. Um, we'll send you over a check. Right? And if you're in the area, I'll come over personally and I'll just bring you $5,000 in cash. You know, in fact, in the cashier's check, I need to write this stuff off. I'm already in no trouble with taxes. So we're going to have... One, two, three, four. These were printed upside down. So these were printed upside down. These are the most, the rare ones. So if you get these in your boxes, you will win $10,000. All right, this will be a hundred. This will be a um, thousand boxes. So the winner out of the, those 500 boxes will win $5,000. The winner out of 500 boxes again will win another $5,000. And these right here, these will be... Uh, a thousand, a thousand boxes that we sell, courtesy of, courtesy of uh, HT Embroidery. You're gonna win twenty grand, all right, and and two thousand orders. Which each video gets a couple hundred thousand views, so two thousand orders is not that much. And by the way, um, my salesman Gerald. So make sure when you buy one of these damn machines, that you tell them that Omi sent you.
tell me, do you know the feeling? I do. Looking up and see no ceiling. I do. Looking down and see dripping. That's right. Neck worth for half a million. Yeah. Niggas mad cause I'm living. Yeah. On Instagram trying to kill him. Ooh. But I'm too busy fucking bad bitches getting M's, nigga. I'm chilling. Chillin'. Twin sides had to sleep That's on right. it. New crib, drop three on Ooh. it. Hit the club and just keep.